Hi guys, I'm Dr. Prashant Madan Mohan and uh, I'm your orthopedic mentor. And as you know, uh, the National Board has released a notification stating that uh, there's going to be a new pattern of examination for the uh, practical exams in view of Corona. So what is basically different is that this pattern allows uh, that uh, there need not be uh, real patients present. And uh, that is one of the main things. The other thing is, it allows that the same questions be asked to each and every candidate. So it allows a more standardized exam pattern. So uh, with the question that is being asked to you, the same questions would be asked to the next candidate. So the examiner will have a better idea and there is less chance of bias. Uh, being that one candidate gets different questions, the other candidate gets different questions. So what is the implication? It says that you can forgo, uh, you can opt out of this session and uh, choose the conventional exam at a later date. But I would suggest that you take this exam because if you have done a good preparation, then uh, uh, with the help of my guidance, definitely, uh, you'll be able to uh, score much better uh, in these exams. Of course, the conventional exam, you're going to score much great anyway. But uh, why wait for that time when you can give a go even now? So I suggest that you take this exam and uh, don't opt out. So basically, uh, it's a two-day exam. And uh, uh, what is going to happen is the first day, there are going to be stations, 25 uh, stations. So uh, and day two, there's going to be clinics where there are going to be two exam cases. So uh, how this is different from the previously was that uh, we just had uh, one day for the initially. So now day one is going to consist of OSCE. So it means observed structured clinical examination, OSCE. So it's going to consist of 200 marks and uh, uh, Viva watch. So Viva is the basic Viva that is going to be of 40 marks. So 20 candidates are going to be screened on both days. They're going to be 25 OSCE stations, totally 200 marks. And each station is going to be of five minute duration. And each station is going to have carry eight marks. So this pattern has been followed for pediatrics and ENT and some other specialties even before two years back. But they introduced this in orthopedics only now. And even now they're giving a trial because actually uh, the age old clinical uh, case presentation, uh, people don't want to let go of it. But uh, you see all over the world, OSCEs are uh, the trend. So I think this is going to stay for a while. So all the 25 stations will be virtually run uniformly and simultaneously. And uh, the assessment will be done by the respective subject experts. So day two, what is going to happen is there are going to be two clinical cases of 30 marks each. And uh, they will try to put at least one patient this way. So the day one, there is not going to be any real patient mostly. So day two, they will at least put one patient. So most likely you will get a hip case. Or mostly it's going to be a hip case. And uh, basically uh, the only case is that 50% you have to score in both OSCE as well as Viva Vachi and clinical examination. So they have divided it into OSCE and Viva Vachi plus uh, clinical exam of the two cases. So that comes to 200 marks and this comes to uh, 50 marks. Uh, so uh, 100 marks out of that 200 and 50 marks out of this uh, because uh, your uh, uh, Viva was uh, 40 marks and uh, your uh, clinical cases are 60 marks, so 30 marks each. So 50 out of this and 100 out of that. So you have to get 50 on both. So now, uh, basically there's nothing to worry. Uh, clinical cases, you're going to do well. Um, but if you need to focus on, if you're going to opt in for this uh, pattern, you have to focus on OSCEs. So OSCEs are basically Viva. And uh, uh, they will give you a different uh, stations. They're going to be 25 stations. So they're going to categorize it into uh, different categories. So uh, there will be uh, categories like uh, uh, video stations. So in video stations, what is going to happen is that they'll play a video 
uh, of maybe somebody walking and they'll ask you uh, what is the gate or what do you infer from this uh, video or uh, they might show you an exam being performed and they might ask you uh, what is the test being done is it positive or negative uh, for example let's say Trendlinburg so that and uh, that, that is one kind of station the other one is uh, x-ray station that you're all familiar with they'll put an x-ray and they'll ask you uh, what do you see in the x-ray uh, what treatment will you give uh, read this x-ray so that is the usual pattern of that and there can be specimen uh, stations and slides they can put uh, PowerPoint pictures of uh, specimens and slides and ask you what do you see and uh, what is the diagnosis uh, all that they can put pictorial questions so they can put some peculiar uh, photograph clinical photograph like of a coli's fracture they can put a photograph of a, a congenital proximal femoral focal deficiency they can put a photograph of a post polio residual paralysis patient uh, yeah and they can put a photo of a thomas splint uh, they can put a bowler blonde splint so all that the usual thing that can be there and uh, they can be clinical scenario based questions so this is of the pattern of neat ss uh, or neat super specialty fnb they've uh, stressed that if you want to give the neat super specialty exam of this session then you need to take this uh, exam so basically uh, they are trying to uh, bring the standard of education closer to that of uh, our neat super specialty uh, so that you know the candidate is directly able to jump and give uh, the neat super specialty exam so it's going to be clinical scenario uh, where they're going to tell you a patient came with uh, complaints of pain in the hip and he was apparently all right all this time uh, he had a total hip arthroplasty done uh, five years ago he was absolutely fine he was very active and suddenly he started having this pain so what do you think is the condition so they might give you an x-ray they may not they may give you some investigations blood parameters and they may ask you okay what is your next uh, line of management what investigations are you going to do and what is your diagnosis and uh, why do you think that's your diagnosis what is the recent advance in this field what is the guideline so all this they can ask so this is very important that you are familiar and you know that this is what is going to come in the exam and you be prepared for it that's the only reason that i've made this video that uh, you get the benefit of all the research that has been done by me and uh, I want all of you to benefit of this knowledge I want all of you to clear the exams so the other uh, station can be a observed station so basically in an observed station what happens is that they ask you to do something they might be a real patient they might be a dummy and they might ask you to demonstrate thomas test yeah they might ask you to demonstrate thomas test so you need to do all the steps and you need to demonstrate you know you are to tell that and they'll be observing you basically that's what it means they may not intervene they'll just put marks eight marks for each station and they might grade you accordingly and uh, they'll not tell you why whether you are right or wrong you, after just that five minutes you go to the next station so it's like 25 cases and uh, 25 stations and five minutes each so it's like everything going to get over soon so you need to have things in the tip of your fingers and you should not make any blunders you make a blunder then uh, it's not likely that you get good marks during that uh, station so tell uh, whatever you know uh, from the back of your mind don't make up things don't beat around the bush and uh, definitely you will do well and basically uh, try to uh, do simulation yeah so I've started a course uh, just for this purpose to give practice to your brains so that you can uh, uh, get an idea and then uh, start working those brain muscles on uh, this OSCE so I'll be putting questions in the course and then you will be uh, giving answers and I'll be correcting them and I'll be telling you uh, what is the ideal way to answer so it will be more like a mentoring program so that OSCE course is already available you can subscribe to it anytime and uh, basically I want you to benefit from the knowledge that uh, I've uh, provided in this video and uh, I wish you all the best for your exams and I want you all to do well. Thank you.